Right, boys and girls, a JDOD special, because we've been talking to Sanjay Poonan about SAP's mobile strategy and how they are or are not, as the case may be. We're going to help out these poor sods, developers in other words. So I've got John and Graham with me. What do you think, guys? You've heard him talk, what do you think? Go on, John, you're first. Okay. Um, I sincerely, I was, I was actually, I was very happy with a lot of the aspects of what I heard in terms of the intent um, of what SAP is trying to do. I mean, there's devils in the details. Yeah. Um, but you know, opening up the platform and, and um, embracing open source frameworks. Um, you know, I've, I've blogged about open source frameworks. Some people who know. I mean, you know, I'm mm. a big fan of them, and I think that's a great, a great way to go and to really attract the developer community. Mm. Um, one of the things I'm still not sure about is is you know how can we have this platform available to connect to um, and easily connect to SAP on-premise systems um, via gateway and, and a piece of the puzzle there is those uh, on-premise customers need gateway mm. right mm. so uh, one of the question marks is how, how can that be well proliferated mm. across the customer database right you know mm. Is that, is, that, is, is that a technical problem or as well as a licensing issue? Or? Well, it's, it's not so much a technical problem. I mean, Gateway can actually uh, be installed in front of an older mm. um, SAP instance. I think it's really what licensing models is yeah. one part of the puzzle as yeah. to what licensing models SAP uses mm. um, to make it palatable for customers to, to take that on. Because mm. if they don't, then we might actually have millions of mobile developers out there mm. that you know, want to interact with the mobile platform, but they can't communicate with the SAP system. Right, right. Okay, Graham, you've been a you've been a big critic, the same as this fellow and me to a lesser extent. Yeah, I, I mean, I I thought um, the the intent that I heard was definitely a big step down the track of where we've been. I mean, was it a surprise? Um, no, I don't think it was a surprise. I think it it, it was uh, logical that there would there would be a renewed focus on business value for business applications. Right. No <laughs> you know, and, and so, so, so what we clearly heard was um, the values in the app, we're going to license and charge for the app. Mm -hmm. was, there was this definite statement of intent. When we started to drill down on that, clearly, you know, as John says, the, dev Fuzzy. the devil's in the detail and there's clearly some, still some thought processes that they need to go in there. But, mm -hmm. I, but it's certainly what I heard was a renewed understanding that selling a, a business, business functionality and positioning business functionality mm -hmm. Is, is what SAP should be doing, you know. That's what, and that's what people will pay for. They're not going to pay for um, access the, the, and the access and, and the tools and the mm. crap like that that, yeah. that just gets you there. Um, uh, we, we didn't go the last mile in our discussions today, but hey, there's plenty of time to get there. What, what do you define as the last mile? What's the last mile for you? The last mile for me is there's, there. There needs to be some clear statements. There needs to be components. And for me, for me, that the whole story of gateway licensing is just background noise. I mean, that clearly, it, it, it's, a, it's a simple little service API layer and a bit of a, a developer productivity tool. It is nothing more or less than that. It doesn't make developing mobile apps easier for the developer. It makes it easier for the app apper at the back end mm. to, to, to publish those. It ain't worth nothing to the business. And right. that's what they should charge for. Right, right, okay. The, the, the feeling that I come away with is, is that all, the, all these statements of intent are wonderful, but I know that internally he's going to have some big yeah, battles on his hand, right? So I think for myself anyway, if they come out publicly, and which is I think the certainly my anticipation, and make these kinds of statement, then it's good, it should be easier for them to win the battles internally. Because once you've said it publicly, it's pretty hard to go back. Or unless you unless you fancy being ridiculed. Yeah, th there's a lot of truth in that. and. Uh, um you know, we all we all know that uh, there's a lot of the old SAP thinking in there. There's a lot of there's a lot of culture clutter in the, in, the, in that organisation, yeah. as there is in any organisation. Even, even even on the mobile teams. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I mean, the SAP's been doing mobile, mm. you know, for 15 years mm. in their own way, and so there are, there are people with that 15 year corporate history of trying and trying and trying again. Yeah. Um, and there's still some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think the thing is, is that I mean, Sanjay is certainly in a, a strong position because he's part of the extended SAP board. Absolutely. And so, you know, if he can't bang the drum, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty hard. I mean, his office is just around the corner from Becker's, and Becker's is on that, in that thing, and around the corner from Vishal. So, 
you know, if, if between them they can't figure it all out, then it's, and, it's and, pretty hard. And for me, Sanjay has great credibility because we've had plenty of times where we've had off the record briefings with him as mentors. Mm. And, and when he's come out publicly and said the same thing, he has said it pretty much the same way, the same thing that he talked about. So we're confident. So, well, I, I, let's just say for me, he's got credibility that what he says behind closed doors, mm. when, you know, as they're working things through, um, tends to be pretty close to what gets said later on. Okay. Apart from uh, the last mile and devil being in the detail, any other, uh, other big issues that are standing out for you, John? Or are you happy? Well, yeah, you know, ostensibly I'm happy. I, I think competitive forces w will force the issue anyway. Right. right? Because, I, you know, I've looked at other platforms and, you know, I just study these, these platforms and, and a lot of them are adopting these open source frameworks. Mm. Um, so if SAP doesn't, mm. you know, the, that developer community will effectively go to the competition. Well, as, as, as James Covent says, you know, developers are the game makers, aren't yes, they? Absolutely. They'll decide. And for me, there's a, there's a little bit that's not clear to me yet, which is how, how I develop, if I develop a mobile app um, that needs to interact, you know, through Gateway or the, or the SAP mobile platform or whatever with the back-end SAP mm. system, you know, for me, it's still not clear how do I get access to the tools and the and the environment I need to develop it. Mm -hmm. Then the next step is I need to sell it. So so there's, it's it's a pretty simple thing to put a standalone mobile app in a store. Apple have been doing it for ages, but these apps are a bit more complex because they there are going to be components of those that live in the on-premise platform mm -hmm. and the on-premise back end. So um, I need a, a platform that will sell my um, app and deploy it to my unknown customer, and part of that deployment is gonna be stuff that touches the back end. Mm. So we still have the issue of getting um, the bits that touch the back end through the change control procedures and that of customers that might be on the other side of the world that I won't be able to help and support through that. So, but that, that's that's the detail that we're talking about. That's right. the devil in that detail for how they achieve that. But yeah, yeah the, 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 and essentially the message of the web shop is still pretty key to yeah. getting there. I mean, another challenge that just mm. just came to mind is, is around the certification. You know, how fast can SAP scale up its team mm. to basically certify these Well, as Osman Sheikh has said that, you know, he wants this to be a high-speed process. Mm. And quite frankly, if they're not getting a lot of money for it, they're going to have to make it a high-speed process mm. or it'll be, it'll be a cost nightmare for them. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think that'll be a problem. But I, I, I do believe that they've still got a crap to work out. But there we go. Yeah, for sure. Always thanks ever so much. Yeah, John, too. Graham, early first here, guys. Cheers.